This time we're going to look at some dim bulbs. These are powerful projection bulbs run at reduced voltage. We'll see if they're working. I got a box of light bulbs given to me that we're just going to go in the garbage and I figured I would check these out and see if any of them work and uh, if they do I'm going to sell them because these are expensive. I mean back in the day this bulb was $30. It's got two prices on it, $6.75 <laughs> and $30. Bucks. Hmm, I guess the price went up as they became more scarce. Anyway, let's take a look at these bulbs and uh, see if they work. This one looks like it's been kind of used a bit. It's kind of black. I don't know if it works or not, but it's rated at 120 volts. And look at this. It's two bulbs in series with each other. So you get the main bulb, which has got the parabolic reflector on it, that would illuminate your film. These would be for like a movie projector or a slide projector. But what the heck is this? It's got a second filament on there. I'm going to power this up with my power supply set to 32 volts. So it's going to light up if it works, but it won't light up full brightness. And as we see, the two pins at the front, well, they do nothing. They're actually connected together. If I were to connect something across here, I'm going to get sparks because, well, they're just shorted together. But the other two are actually connected to the filament on the bulb. So when I connect this one up, we should get light. And we do, and look at this. We've got a filament at the back here that lights up, and we have the main filament that lights up on the front that's focused. And this actually, uh, even at 32 volts, it's drawing, it's only drawing 0.6 amps at 32 volts, but it is throwing off a fair bit of heat. Now, running it at this voltage, this bulb would last forever, but of course, you know, it's uh, not giving you the right color temperature for anything, but it is throwing off some light, as you can see. But why they put a second filament on the back there? Well, this is probably to ensure that the bulb burns out promptly. These bulbs, when they were sold, were typically rated for a specific number of hours, and the hours were not very long. Most of these were only rated at four or five hours of use, and then they would burn out. They've got a second filament on the back here that would basically ensure that the bulb is not going to fail destructively. So if something were to short, like if this if this filament here were to start to melt short together, it would draw more current from this other filament and burn it out. More than likely. Or it's just being as a timer. So this one's going to burn out quicker than the other. But both of them, basically, with two filaments in series like that, you're basically assuring that the bulb is going to burn out sooner than later. Anyway, that one works, so we'll just take that one away and put that one aside, and let's see what we have next in this box. We have this bulb. This is a another incandescent bulb. Looks like, actually, this one actually looks like this is a halogen bulb. A halogen bulbs you should not touch the glass with your fingers because you'll create a hot spot, but. We'll fire this thing up just to see whether it will light up. This says CBA 30. I don't know what the voltage on this bulb is, but it, it's not going to be more than, or not going to be less than, than uh, 30 volts. Some bulbs run on lower voltage, but uh, we'll turn the power supply down to 28 volts on this one just to see what happens when I connect it. And I don't know which pins are which, so I'm going to guess and see whether this one lights up. And it's that one there. And this bulb, as you can see, is lighting. Now it's a lot brighter, even at only 28 volts. This is probably a, like a 35 volt bulb, or it's definitely going to be less than uh, 120 volts, that's for sure. But that bulb also works. I'm not going to run it because I don't want to uh, damage it. It definitely needs to be cleaned before it's put in service, but that's another bulb that. I can certainly sell. Let's get into the next bulb in the batch here. This is another bulb. This is a, I think, a, either a three or a 500 watt bulb. What does it say on this one? Canada. 500 watts. 120 volts. So we'll crank the power supply up on this one. And if we look, the power leads are these two outside pins. This one's a fuse. We look on here. Okay. 
our structure for our filaments go to these two outside pins but there's a fuse pin on here as well there's like a thin wire there and most projectors would use that that way if something were to short it would blow that one but your projector could be wired to use it with or without the fuse so make sure that I don't go through the fuse and blow the fuse there's that one 500 watt 120 volt and again even only running it that long it's getting warm General Electric what's it say for the uh, I like this this projection lamp is a highly efficient light source, much brighter than an ordinary lamp of same wattage, of concentrated filament design, therefore more fragile and relatively short life. And they do have a relatively short life. As I mentioned before, most of these lamps only operate for hours rated in the single digits. Next. This one is a BA 12 volt. So let's turn the power supply down to 12 volts for this one. This one should light up quite bright because it's a low voltage lamp. So let's just see what it does. It says 8 amps 12 volts base down so these had to operate this way this bulb does look like it's used it is as black notice all the the uh, in our locator pins so that it only went into a specific socket one specific direction I don't have to hook up those I'm just gonna touch the wire on here and it's bright and it draws 7.5 amps and that gets red hot so that is another bulb that works. Another specialty bulb. Looks like the price on this one when it was new was $54. But this is not the correct box. This is the 300 watt. This is a CWD lamp, much like the other one, but lower wattage, and probably would run a little longer than the 500 watt bulb, just because there's less current involved. Also, I believe a 120 volt bulb. Yeah, 120 volts, so I'll turn the power supply back up to 32 volts. There's the 300 watt bulb operating. As I say, this one here would probably last longer than the 500 just because it's less heat, but of course, less brightness as well. And this one also doesn't have the back reflector that the other one did. Pardon me, my probes just started together. And burn the wire up there if I'm not careful. Next we have this Sylvania blue top lamp. Oh look at that look at this one. This one here this one's been used as you can see look at the glass. The glass is already starting to deform from the heat. So this one's called a a DFY it's a 25 hour rated bulb 120 volt 1000 watts Wow 1000 watts 120 volts Wow that's a big bulb that bugger let's just see if it lights up power supply is gonna have trouble trying to light this one up <laughs> Four amps at 32 volts, and the heat coming off this thing, even at this, like it's it's hot. I can't hold my hand any closer than that to this lamp. Wow, thousand watt bulb. As you can see, the heat from it 
cause the glass to deform. What else do we have in here? Is this another one the same? Nope. This is a 25 hour lamp that someone stuck a sticker on, which shouldn't be there. Well, if this bulb ever goes into service, whoever gets it will take the sticker off, I'm sure, and clean it with alcohol. But uh, this lamp here, if I reconnect, if I connect this one here up, this one should light up as well. Just making sure I don't hook up to the fused link. I don't want to blow anything. And there's that one. See, it's got the, this one's got the reflector in the back to concentrate the light. I'm blind from looking at this light. I can't even read the number on here right now. I'm seeing a spot. Can you guys read that number? CTT? This one's a CTT lamp. And just running it for that little bit of time uh, has got this glass quite hot. Is this 500? Or, or is this a thousand? Oh, another thousand watt bulb. No wonder it's so bright. CTT 25 hour. Oh, it's got it written on there. 25 hour bulb. 1000 watt. Be like for a slide projector or a film projector. This is a DFA wrong box that it's in and this one I think is shot DFA it's, it's 150 watts 120 volts and it looks like the film is popped on this one you can see the pop the film is popped so this one I can chuck again it's got that little secondary filament there which won't do anything because it's uh, in series with the, the main filament and the main filament is is popped so it's not going to do anything but that one's bad so we can uh, chuck that one to break it it'll, it'll be under high vacuum this thing but that's uh, that's that one that one's no good so in the bin that one goes and we have one more here. Let's just see. This is a CYC bulb. It's 300 watts. And um, if any of you guys have got projectors that need these type of bulbs, well, if you're looking for one, I might have one for sale. Actually, this one might be the same as the little projector that I have that, um, or similar, maybe not. 120 volt base down. Let's see if this one works. I had a little a little brownie projector that I loaned out to a fella and he burned out the bulb. There we go. And that one works too. And that one looks to be brand new. Anyway, that's um, a look at some projection bulbs that I picked up today that were heading to the dump. So I'm going to make these available to anybody who wants to buy one or multiple bulbs. Um, First things first, I got a projector. I'm going to see whether whether any of the projectors that I have can use any of these bulbs. And if it's one that a projector that I have will use, obviously I will hang on to it. But uh, otherwise, I'm just going to put them up for sale and try to get them into someone's hands that could actually use it. Thanks for watching.